this video, we're going to go over some different memo options that you have in your memos workspace. So when you access your memos workspace, there are a couple things I want you to keep in mind. One, you can always switch your view. So here I have five memos in this project and it's kind of in this sticky note view. If I wanted to switch to a grid, I can switch to grid view in the upper right. So that may be a little more digestible for some folks and easier to sort and navigate those different memos. I always, always recommend creating different memo groups so that you can categorize your memos and really have memos scaffold your project and your writing throughout your study. To create different memo groups, you can go to Create New, and you can also do this anywhere else you're creating a memo in Deduce. You're going to see the Memo Groups designation at the top here, and this is where you can create different groups. So I'm going to go ahead and create some groups that we find helpful that we also talk about in the Learning Center and in the Deduce textbook. Alrighty, so I created five different groups for us here. So reflexive memos, analytical, code development, team notes, and methods memos. So I've created those five different groups here, and you'll also see them on the left in your memo groups area. So now I can go ahead and exit out of here. You can hit yes or no. Um, it will save your memo groups for you. So now we have these different memo groups. So now as you navigate to Deuce, let's say you were coding a document. I'm going to hop into some data here. So you're coding this excerpt and you want to attach a memo to this excerpt. I'm going to link a memo. And then you'll have the option under memo groups to choose what type of group you want this memo in. And it can belong to multiple groups. I'm going to do a test memo here as my title and type in some text and then select save. So now we have a memo and it's also categorized in that group analytical memos. So now when we go back to our memos workspace, we'll see we have one memo in that group. If we wanted to quickly access those memos, we can check the box and deduce will filter that for us. So creating memo groups is really essential if you want to get the most out of the memo feature in deduce. And it's okay if you didn't create groups right away, you can always check the box next to any of those memos. And then you'll see a bunch of different options come up here on the top. So you have export if you wanted to export these memos and associated information. You have add memo to group. So I can click that button and choose which group or groups these memos belong to. And you'll also notice you can create a document copy. So this is a great feature. If you're memoing and you realize, oh, this memo is actually a rich piece of data that I would like to analyze, you can hit create document copy and Deduce will convert that memo into a piece of media that you can now code. So this will be in our media workspace for us now. So there we have our two memos that we just converted to media that we can code. Going back to our memos workspace here, know that whenever you click into a memo, you can bring it back up. You can hit memo links if you want to see what item this memo is linked to, if it's linked to anything. And you can also use different sort features if you're looking for a specific memo from one of your team members or a specific date. But again, using the memo groups will take you a long way. And one last great feature I want to leave you with is if you select all of your memos and you choose export, make sure to include any excerpts, codes, media, or descriptors that those memos are linked to. So if you've actively been taking memos as you're analyzing your data and attaching memos to excerpts, this will really help scaffold your writing and bridge the gap between your analysis and your writing because you're going to have your excerpt and your memo side by side. because you're going to have your memo and your excerpt side by side. So you can really do that translational work and put it in your paper and start building your findings. If you want to learn 
how to link memos to different uh, data points in Deduce, be sure to check out the other learning guides in the Learning Center.